Okay, today is June 27th, 2017, and this is a quick update for uh, Hurricane Dora. Looking at the rainbow map, we can see that the eye wall and all the uh, circulation has been broken down. Uh, the storm has been weakened. If you look at the uh, National Hurricane Center, we can see that uh, uh, this storm has weakened. We've got 75 mile per hour winds. The central pressure is raised slightly to 990 millibar, still moving at uh, 13 miles per hour to the west northwest. And uh, we can see that the organization of the storm is a lot different than uh, last night, just 12 hours ago. Now, if we look at the uh, visible light map, we can see why and how this is happening. So uh, here we are. We'll uh, scroll through the. Uh, let's back this up a little bit. Now, right here, we're going to see a little circular shock wave right there. And we'll see the side blow out of this hurricane here. Let's take a, a look right there. That little semicircle. This has been targeted in two places, and you'll see here in a couple of frames what's actually happening. So we'll go to the next frame. We see the rapidly expanding water vapor starting to flow out behind that shock wave. We'll go back one frame. You can see the uh, line right there, that circle, that half circle. Next frame, you see the sides start to blow out right here. And then we have the uh, night to day transition. And there's actually two, two marks right here where the microwave uh, generated that uh, shock wave, which is right here now. Next frame, we can see these two points where the microwave transmitter uh, targeted this area of the storm right here. Then we have this blast wave right here, which is uh, shooting out. Okay, right here. Let's let that roll. Now, by the time that we see these uh, two uh, indents, they've already expanded. These are these, these start out as very tiny little dots, and then they expand into, into these uh, craters, which we can uh, see right there. So, by the time that we see the craters after the uh, night to day transition they've already expanded out quite a bit but the shock wave right here and the blast pattern is the evidence that's always associated with these uh, craters this is where the microwave is actually heating superheating that hurricane and that's why uh, this hurricane is weakened today to uh, uh, 75 mile per hour winds i believe they said here let's check it again yeah, 75 mile per hour winds. And of course, we can see the blast pattern right here as well. Watch this area. You can see that uh, side blowing out to the uh, north uh, east. And so this storm is weak. And let's take a look at the bigger map now. And we can see the, uh, the appearance of this storm has completely changed. Uh, last night we had a very well-defined eye wall, very large, well-defined eye wall, and today we can see that uh, they are killing this storm off. I would say by tonight or tomorrow, this uh, storm will be a tropical depression. 
it's all blockaded with high pressure like we were uh, looking at last night. You see that the jet stream is still blockaded right here. This is not getting anywhere near into this high pressure area. So uh, it's going to be another warm day today in uh, Los Angeles. Okay, well, that's the update. We'll just leave it right here and uh, with another update later on.